Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. As I said last Wednesday, the most powerful families are families of faith. Last Wednesday, we talked about the life of Moses and how Amram and Jochebed, the parents of Moses, by faith, withstood the current of society, the opposition of rulers to follow God, to follow His Word, to obey the God that they serve. You know, it's easy to follow someone you know. So the question this morning is, how well do you know God? How well do you know God? You know why many Christians do not really wholly follow God is because they do not really know the God who they follow. They receive Him as their Lord and Savior. They are children of God. Praise God. Amen. Nga But it does not end there. We need to grow in faith. We need to grow in grace and in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And I believe if there is one uh, ministry that here in our church that needs a lot of attention, it is the ministry of our young ones. Sometimes we take for granted children. In fact, the disciples themselves. In the book of Luke chapter 18, we read that passage this morning in the Sunday school. The disciples themselves shoot away the children. But what did the Lord Jesus Christ say? Allow or suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Our kids are important to God. Our children are important to God. And they must be important to us if you are a parent of a young uh, child, if you have young children today, and for us that have already adult children, this message may be directed uh, to uh, young couples who have young children. And let me encourage you, however this message may go this morning, let me encourage you to look to the future, to be an encouragement to the children of Bible Baptist Church, to the young ones. Even as we also endeavor to have our ministries in the areas, it is important that we have an impact in the areas that we minister to, the little children that we minister to in the areas because the devil is against the children now more than ever. He has always been against children. He has always been against mankind, but more so now, if you haven't noticed, the greatest attack in the home today is the attack not only between husband and wife, between couples, but also in our children. If we cannot raise our children right, then our families is not going to have, aren't going to have much of a future. Neither will our church. simbahan, the next generation, if the Lord tarries His coming, if we do not raise our children right today, and if we do not work together in our ministries and in our educational ministry, in the Sunday school for the children ministry, and in Awana, in all other ministries that involves children, our youth ministry, we won't have a, a good future for a Bible Baptist church. You see, our child, as God has ordained our children, has ordained our families as Children of God, we should be living in the power of God. We should be overcomers. We should be champions. Dilita kanunay mapildi sa sala. Now, many have endeavored that our children be champion in the spelling bee, in the math bee, in the halls of academia, and nothing wrong with that. We should be excellent as children of God. But more so, we should excel, help our children excel in character. Proverbs chapter 22, verse number 6 reminds us to train up our children in the way that they should go so that when they become old, they will go in the path wherewith we have trained them. To train up a child is different from teaching a child. We have been teaching our children. We teach them in the Sunday school. We teach them and we should. That's part of training. But you know, training and teaching are two different things because our problem is neglect and indifference. We think that many times if we have already taught our children, then that's all that needs to be done. For those of you that are contemplating marriage, I encourage you. 
to take down notes. For those of you that are young couples that have children today, take down notes. Ah, ako, pastor, tiguwang naman niya mga anak. Uy, take notes ka, kay mag-apu ba ka? You can help your young, uh, co- uh, your children that are young couples to be able to train their children well. To train means to prepare for a contest. To instruct by exercise, to drill. Now that's different from teaching. Teaching is you just give information, but when you train, thank God for teachers that also train. Salamat Taniana. I salute the teachers of our public school system. If you have ever been in our public school system, mga exonan ang mga teachers nato sa public school system, they are really our heroes because they are. They are uh, exposed and they are challenged with so many obstacles and, you know, changes in not only in the weather but also in, in the system itself. But yet they press on. They press on. Now, to train means to drill, to discipline for use. No one learned to play basketball just by sitting down and learning all the, in the blackboard, all the uh, set plays and all the positions. Wala, wala may nakakat on og basketball ni Ana. The one that really is good in basketball is not only trained in the classroom, but they are also trained by by the tutelage and the guidance of the co- of the of the coach in the court or the field. I learned basketball by dribbling a ball, not by the drawing. Maoni ang bula, maoni ang korte, dili. Ang kanang basketball, mga kaigsunan, it's more than just academics. You must engage. And our children are like that. We can teach them and teach them. And, and good if we teach them. Sometimes we let only the Sunday school teacher teach them. Sometimes we let only our teachers in the school teach them. But to train means to really discipline them, to be able to form them, to instruct them, to prepare and to drill them. In today's message, we're going to learn four specific things in Proverbs 22 so that we can raise young children to be powerful for Christ. As pastor, I pray for families and I pray that the families of Bible Baptist Church, the children of Bible Baptist Church, be powerful families. It is not money that makes us powerful. It is not position, intelligence that makes us powerful. It is by following the precepts of the Word of God. You may be a simple person today, but if you are following the precepts of the Word of God, you are a powerful person. You can make an impact, a difference in your community and in your home. Number one, we find here in this verse, notice the words in Proverbs 22, verse number six, train up a child. The first principle is, in raising young children to be powerful for Jesus Christ is to train your child. It's there. What does that mean? We need to start them young. Start them as soon as they are born, even before they are born. I thank God for you parents that while in the womb, you talk to your child in the womb and you give them scripture. You talk to them about the Lord and you, you let them hear the, the truths of the Word of God. Start them while they are in the womb. Start them when they, immediately when they are born. And the very first thing you need to do is to dedicate your children to the Lord. Another word for training is dedication. Dedicate your child. Because there can never be no training, nor success, nor power in our families without dedication. Many times we are overcome by laziness. Tapulan da ba? Uy, kani mga kaigsunan ang kami nyo on? Dili ni basta-basta, oy. I'm not discouraging you because marriage is God's um, idea. Man has destroyed marriage so much so that Many people are afraid to get married, but you get married. But don't you know that marriage is a wonderful thing? There are there were so many benefits I had received uh, in marriage when I got married. I know there are so many statements that we hear from people. Oh, maminyo ganikaw na blansang sa cross, wana mga kaigsoonan. 
dili na mo ay gitudlo sa Ginoo, tinood na ay mga kalisod. Nga murag imo sang feeling, mura sa gagilansang. Pero wala ka gilansang. Kasuway na mo gilansang sa cross, wala oy. Imo lang lang hunahuna. Paso siguro. Kajut lang ba ang sakit? Train your children. We must begin early. Members, participate. Members, support the children's ministry of Bible Baptist Church. Start them early. It is used so, uh, four other times in the Bible. And it is used as for us to dedicate our house, to dedicate like in Solomon, the house of the Lord. And the idea of training our children is the idea of dedicating them to the Lord as early as possible. The Bible teaches us that if we do not start early, hope will dim. Proverbs 19, verse number 18. Proverbs 19, Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. What is the world and what is the psychologist of the world today teaching us? That disciplining our children and, and teaching our children and training our children the biblical way Will, will not work. But the very person or persons that have pushed this agenda, they themselves have not really experienced the right kind of training in their children. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24, He that spareth his rod hateth his son. Bible ni. But he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. It means early. Bata pa, ato ng triningon tudluan. Many will say, oh, bata pa na pastor, di na kasabot. They will never understand because they're still children, little children, even at a very young age, do not underestimate them. Because even at the young age, children are geniuses. They learn a language even before they can walk. Little children cannot articulate, but they learn a lot in their head. That is why by the time that they can articulate, wa naka, gaapas naka sa imong anak. Gagukod naka. Gatabon naka. Nga naman, kay asa man siya katoon ani. Kanig yun. Kanig yung silingan. Yun. Sige mo ganun padasa. Wala. Naana siya ng una If we are not going to train them, someone else will. Isaiah 28, verse number 9, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk, are drawn from the breasts, mga bata. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Start them young. Start them young. Oh, pastor, bata pa akong anak. I will not bring them to Sunday school. Bata pa akong anak. Karun, nga bata pa, dada. Matanawa na yun, naaparin, gatutoy pa. Pero naa sa church. Kano sama na nato dadon na to mga anak? Kanang sumbago na ta? Kanang patira na ta? Karun pa. Nga bata. Children have the curiosity factor. What we learn today what we have today as adults, we learned when we were little. Like a sponge, our children are absorbing everything in the world today. Paminaw mo mga kaigsunan, and I say this in love. Bantayi lagi, ayaw lagi mo hatag na cellphone sa mga anak. Sometimes we give it because we think it's a status symbol. Listen, you are destroying your children. You know, the world had the world. What do they do? The world. By 18, the world, ila nang i-present ang ilang anak. Mo na ila. I present my children to the world. Debu. But before that, ato yun ang gibantayan. We watched them. We, we really guided them. We trained them. And by this time, by 18, you present them to the world. Mo na ang world. Kita, we never present our children to the world. We present our children to the Lord. Okay? Pero karon mga kaigsunan, 
the mere fact that you give a cell phone to your child as early as five years old, four years old, ihatag na ninyo, you are not just presenting them to the world, you are letting the world come to your child. Usahay bata, pakaayo, naana, naana sa Facebook. Bata, pakaayo. And you wonder why our children are getting immoral. You wonder why homosexuality is creeping, lesbianism is creeping. They do not know what the reality is anymore. Why? Because they're exposed to that. Sa una mga kaigsunan, halos di takatan og TV. Nga naman, wa amtay TV. Diba? Where do we go and watch TV? Silingan. Ayo. Pwede naman tanaw TV. Adili pa kay busy pa may diri. Unya na lang dong, unya na lang. Balik lang diri dong, balik. So, what's at the... Ako, um, every Friday, ragyo ko makatana og TV across my aunt's house. Kaya sila naman na TV. We had TV before, but gilabay sa akong amahan kay nga naman, Bultis 5. <laughs> di namang tuon, Bultis 5. Sige lang lang, karate-karate. Di namang, di namang tuon. Mga kagsunan, pag huwag ni Bultis 5, oh, naunor ko eh. Tinuna. I'm not joking. Wala naman diri akong mga maestra na ono. But anyway, that, that's what happens. But today, loose na kaayo. Loose na kaayo. Our children are curious. You may say they may not understand that. Oh, you are wrong. They will understand that. Give it a few months and they will learn what it really is. Violence. Immorality. Pornography. Oh, karon mga kaigsunan, daghan kaayo. And you are wondering why our children do not have the, the uh, appetite to listen to the Word of God, to come and listen to Bible stories. Kanuman, bata pa, they have been exposed to really things that should not be given to children. Wala na gamit ang SPG, striktong patnubay at gabay. Sa Amerika, uh, sa, sa English, PG, parental guidance. Wala na parental guidance, oy. Mga rating, rating run, wala na. Wala na. Decoration na lang na. Kung na lang na, just to be able to, to ease our conscience, ang kani, PG-13, R, unsa na diha, wala na. Listen, the children have a memory factor. Children's minds are sharp and focused. Then children are humble. Suffer the little children to come on me, and of such is the kingdom of heaven. By the way, you can never enter the kingdom of heaven if you are proud. You can never. Why? Why do I say that, Pastor? Do I have to be humble? No, you have. You cannot accept Christ if you are proud. Because if you are proud, you are going to accept Christ. Plus, you are going to do good works. You are going to accept Christ. Plus, continue to do what you need to do. Christ is not enough for you. You need to humble yourself and say, it should be Christ and Christ alone. Children have the humility factor. And you know what? Children have the trust factor. Children are very trusting. And that is why uh, criminal elements have preyed on children. We are part of the ministry of OSEC, the online exploitation of children. And uh, we, we have uh, invested in that. We are partnering with that. Because especially in, in, in our area here, especially in the Pizza Cordova, mga batang gamay, they are exploited online. They have to be rescued. Our school, Babius Christian Academy, is catering to rescued children without you knowing it. Daghan sa ato mga estudyante sa Babius Christian, dili daghan, pero naa, nga kana sila ato nang giatiman tungod kay kana sila victims sa exploitation. Why? Because their trust factor, God intended it that way. If you are a teacher in the Sunday school, I know they are not here, they are in the back, but if you're going to watch this again, this message again, this service again, your responsibility is serious. Dili na yama yama ani mo ang children. If you are ministering out there in the extension classes, in the good news classes, as we minister to the children, as we gather the children, 
Our ministry, what we do with the children is serious. Children look up to you. Do not exploit them. Start them early. Tomorrow, that baby will not want to be rocked anymore. Tomorrow, that toddler will not be asking, Why, Daddy? Why, Mommy? Mommy? Why is the sky blue? Kaso, why na mo, anak? Ngayon yung anak, sige lang, why, why, why? Pag hilo mo, huwag kayo tubag, kaya ikaw ang sige kayo tubag. I-Google na. Tomorrow, that schoolboy will not want help with his lessons. Karon nga, pwede pa ni mong tabangan, tabangi. Pwede pa ni mong ihatod. Kaya kapwe, baghatod. Ani, Ay, sa igadak ko, ana, di na napahatod. Lain ay mo hatod, ana. Mas may nang ihatod na to para why lain mo hatod. Amen? Hmm. Nanawag akong, akong anak babae gahapon, gawag hapon sa hapon, dad, human ako. Oh, pwede kuha. Oh, of course, kuha. Napalay lain mo kuha. Isod na kain eh. Bidaw. While you have the opportunity to minister them while they're young, do it. Dada sa Sunday school. Dada sa awana. Pastor, matug man mi. Unya na lang ng katug kay kanang kinabuhi si mong anak. Importante na. Kay inigdako ni mo, tiguwang ni mo, gusto na kang mupahuway. Sige, pahuway. Di nakakapahuway. Kay dapugon kasi mong anak. Pangitaan kag kwarta. Kay musuyop na og drugs. Di ka kato, kay magsunod-sunod ka. That is why, start them young. 2 Timothy 3.15, that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. Parents, we need to study our children. Our children have their own bent. God created our children different. Don't look at our children the same. I have three. All of them are different. Na ay anak nga tabian, gregarios, kanamang kuan kaayos, sabaan ba, sabaan. Na sa anak nga hilumon, na ay anak nga kutihan, na ay anak nga wagi paki. Diba? Lahi-lahi na ito mga anak. Na ay anak mga kaigsunan nga kanang kuan giyod, kanang inda, kanang saning, kanang Industrious. Nasa'y uban nga hinayon. Dugay mahumat. Lahilahi na sila. Children are different. It is incredible how different children can be with the same parents. Study the Bible. Children of the Bible. Cain and Abel were sons of Adam and Eve. Yet how different Cain and Abel were. Absalom and Solomon were both sons of David, but they were incredibly different from each other. Jacob and Esau were sons of the same father, the same mother. But what a difference there was between Jacob and Esau. Children are different in attitudes, gifts, demeanor, psyche. Find out which way your child is so that you can guide them in the way they should go. Dilitan ng anak, mahimong pastor. Magpastor yung kadungha. Di mani, mga kaigsunan, di mani parehas katulik ko nga kanang Kung mapari ka, tungod kay gisugo kasi yung ginikanan, ma- ko anak, mauna na. Ang kaning pagkapastor, tinawag ni. This is an office that must be called of God. A pastor should not be assigned. Should be called. Over here, we in our me- prayer meeting this morning, we were praying for God to call someone to go to Agsungo, to go to Binalio, to go to Guba, to go to uh, uh, Tuong, to go to uh, pa? Uh, Tagbao, to go to Tabunan. You're praying, Nanaay mo barog, Lord, send someone. Because if you assign someone, then that someone, when they get discouraged, they're going to say, Kanis Pastor Ken, good di assign mo, good good. But if God calls you, and then naakay reklamo, ang git, ah, ah, sige Lord, okay na Lord. Hindi kakarikla mo, gino. Mas, mas bright pa kas gino. Are you going to say, Lord, nasayop ka pagtawag ni mo? Kaing, makaingon ka na. You cannot say that. God is too wise to make a mistake. He's too wise. Now, there are times we may not understand God's ways, but let me tell you, you can trust God's heart. 
children are different. And one day, your child's personality, your child's proclivities will someday become their spiritual gift as they accept Christ as their Savior. Train your child. Do you have children, young children today? Train them. Don't just teach them, train them. Secondly, we find in this passage of Scripture, train with creativity. Jesus Christ was creative when He taught His disciples. To train can also mean to touch the palate. Kung sama na sa ato, bitaw, kanang muka unta, abrigana. Di ba na yung mga food nga abrigana? Mo, mo encourage ni mo to open up your appetite. To train means also to touch the palate. When you train your children, train them so that it creates a thirst and hunger for righteousness. Jesus, the master, master teacher, when he was here on earth, Jesus saw lessons on everything. When he was passing through the field, he stopped and he says, A sower went to sow. A fisherman throwing their net, he would see a mustard seed, he would see the lilies of the field, he would see the birds of the air, and he would use that as examples. Be creative in your teaching to train. That is why it has the idea of dedication because it takes effort to train. Train like the Lord Jesus trained. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse number 6 and 7, the Word of God says, And these words which I command thee these days shall be in thine heart. Talking to the parents. And thou shalt teach them, the children, diligent, diligently, Thou shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, when thou risest up. Now, if we are ever going to teach our children the Word of God, parents, the Word of God must first be in us. Lisod kay itudlo sa usa kabutang nga ikaw mismo wala kahibalo. The reason why we have Sunday school, the reason why we have Bible studies, the reason why we have life lessons, the reason why we have so many ministries so that through our ministries, we can learn bits and pieces of the Word of God in smaller scales, ginagmay, ginagmay, so that that can add all up to great Bible knowledge that we can teach our children. That's why young people, nindot yod ngang imong maminyo, Kanang na expose the word of God. If you get married to an unbeliever and then that unbeliever gets saved, praise God. But you know what? It will take time for them to get to know the word of God. And then your children are growing up. They will not have that much knowledge of the word of God. Why? Because your partner or even you yourself do not have Bible knowledge. Portantina. Jesus, the master teacher, taught creatively. Give rewards for Bible verses. Have them memorize. I had my, I had my bike fixed the other day, and you know, uh, ang akong uh, mekaniko, ang iyang anak, gipa iskwila niya Christian school dito sa Talamban. I, actually, gipa iskwila niya dito ila ni, ni Brother Denisi. And so they closed their schools. So, wala na, wala na like Christian school. But when I was there, I was waiting for the bike to be fixed, you know. Nya, naghuwat ko dito, nya. Nanggawas, the children went out. So, ang, ang mekaniko ni said, You, bless pastor, oh, pastor, pastor na, pastor, remember the school? And, oh, okay, so anyway, bless na. And ko, oh, so you went to the Christian school? Okay, what, what is the Bible verse? Be Bible verse. Then they looked at their parents, even <laughs> the parents, Katubang Bible ba? Katubang verse ba? Verse. So I started just any verse that I thought, that Ephesians 6, 1, and then the child lit up. Kabaluku, I know, I know. Baby, Ephesians 6, 1. Children, children, obey. And then she started to recall the verses. Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Oh, John 3, 16, John 3, 16. John 3, and I started to just you know, drill her. And, 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 and then the little one, which during that time was, was not able to go, 
was curious and looking at her older sister. Nag-memorize yung verse niya. And siya, pa, on sana? Verse na, day verse. Train them while they're young. Give them rewards if they memorize. Dili na bribe. Don't you know that God gives rewards for righteous living? Revelation 22, 12, Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give to every man according as his work shall be. What's the difference, Pastor? A bribe is when we try to get someone to do what he ought not to do for money or for some other thing. But we are not bribing our children. It is a reward of thanks for doing right. Train your child. Secondly, train your children with creativity. Thirdly, we find in this uh, passage of Scripture, train with consistency. Now here is a little, I'll spend a little time here in this message and then we'll close in the last point. Verse number 15 of the same chapter, Proverbs 22. Look at verse number 15. Why is it important to be consistent? In training our children. We want powerful families, powerful children, children that will make a difference. When they grow up, it will not depart from them because foolishness is bound in the heart of the child. Liwat munguna ni mogod, dili na. For all have seen and come short of the glory of God. Apil ato manganak. You don't have to teach your children foolishness. It's bound in their heart. We don't teach our children do, do. We teach our children don't, don't, don't. Diba? Because it is bound there. It is bound to go out. But the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Never think that our children do not need to be corrected. Correct them. If they're in a church and they're supposed to listen, let them listen. If they're in the grocery store and they need to not touch, kay ka nang inighikap, mahulog mo na, makabayad ka. Tawa kong anak, madlungo na kong anak, kahit iginig ko, mga ginisagin, mga gin. Ano na, nahulog na dito, mga kuan, ang atindan, sige nagtanap, bataan ni, bantay lang yun ni. Ikaw, yung parent, anak lang ka, anak lang ka dito, mura lang kagawa. Patlungay niyo mga anak. Amen? Patlungay niyo mga anak. Ka na magsagit-sagit, patlungay niyo anak. Be consistent because foolishness or silliness is bound in the heart of a child. They're children. But let them know what is wrong, what is right. There comes a time when we have to correct our children because there is a predisposition in our children to do wrong. So correct with consistency. Discipline your child. Ang nag walay anak. Discipline your child. Discipline. Four reasons very quickly why you discipline your child. Because you love them. Proverbs 13, 24, He that spareth his rod, hate his, his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him while they're young. Do you love your children? Discipline them. Do it early. That is not true. You do not love your child. You love yourself. Are you listening? You love yourself. If you love your child, you will discipline your child. I know disciplining gives displeasure to us parents. Lisud ka ayum discipline. Oy, there was a time, you know, that I had to, as part of discipline, dili naman maminaw, dili na mukuan, dili na ba? Wala na ba? Consistent na o disobedience. So it came to a point in time that I had to spank my child and. You know, we were there already. Okay, let us, let, uh, let us go to the room and we're going to have discipline already because 
gave you a warning, second warning, third warning, talked to you, but still you disobeyed. So now, this is now the time you need to be disciplined uh, with the rod of correction. So discipline na. Pero in my heart, listen kayo eh. But you have to be consistent. You have to be firm, loving and firm. Naniingon akong anak, okay daddy, I will have discipline. But daddy, before we discipline, can we pray first? Tapos tangin ko nga, hindi na magkaganahan mo discipline ano eh. Ako pa giingnan nga, can we pray first? <laughs> ano ba? Kam- kamaong sa ni Seda? Kamaong sa ni Seda? Dili na kayo bugat in yung pag-ana, pak, gaan na kayo, pak, gaan na kayo, okay? Wow, Malimang gag, can we pray first? Sa kaana? Huh? Isn't it, di ba? You don't like to reach that point. But when it needs to reach that point, we need to be consistent. I would rather spank my child rather than see my child in the prison house. To see my child in the hospital with tubes all over because they have overdosed themselves with drugs. Or maybe have gone with a crowd that should not be, that they should have gone with. It is not out of love for a child, but out of selfish love for ourselves that we do not really discipline our child. Remember, this is God's command. The Lord God does that to us. Hebrews 12, 6, For the Lord, for whom the Lord loveth, He chasteneth. it. Lo, Pastor, what lagi ko bunalis gino? Oy, basing di ka anak sa gino. You better check, examine yourself. I've been living in sin and nothing has happened. Oh, God really loves me. But look at what the Bible says. For whom the, love, the Lord loveth, He chasteneth. Maybe you are not a child. Maybe if you read this passage of Scripture, the Bible says, you are not a child but are a bastard. Nagpakaroon ing nun lang, pero di ka anak. Kung kamo, gibunalan mo sa inyong ginikanan, bayabas, kay mito, unsa nang dihang mga hmm, lami kayong. Lami kayong. Doha ka adlaw, lison ka glakaw. Pero karon tarong ka eh. Before you do anything wrong, you think about it. Once, twice, thrice. Kapila, di ba? Last Wednesday, I said, when, when pastor uh, disciplined me sa unap, so, muuntol ko, muuntol ko. Inigbunal niya, muuntol ko. Niya, kutsun ko to among, among higdaanan. Muuntol ko hapong ko. Sakit. Di ko ganahan pa bunal. Kaingo ko kumay, tagmatay. Kaingo, tinood na. Just for a brief moment though. Inig ko man, wanay sakit, adili ay. I changed my mind. <laughs> joke, joke lang, joke. Pero sakit ba? Pero when I was growing up, whenever I would like to do something wrong, I have to think once, twice, thrice, so many times before I would do it. Eh, kahinumdum ko sa sakit. Niya, kung atong anak, wala na disiplina, ah, okay ra ni, okay ra. Manang harus atong anak sa immoralidad, harus atong anak sa bisyo, harus tanan. Very quickly, let, later we're going to have a little guidance. So, you love your child. Secondly, uh, you discipline because of the nature of human nature. We, foolishness is bound in the child. Thirdly, because... Yes, yeah, secondly, because of the nature of human nature. Those are the two basic things that we need to learn. Now here, as I said, what are the rules for chastisement? How do you... Chastise when you discipline. Nabunala ni mo ba? Number one, you start early. Mata pa, bunala na ni mo. Now, pamina mo. There is a place that God has ordained. Nga walay nerves, walay blood vessels, kaayo. Kaning lubot. Dili ni. Ayaw sumbaga inyong anak. Dili ni. Ayaw. Dili ni. Dili o. Masul rana tanan. Dili diri. Dili sa diri. Diri yun. 
That is why do not discipline in anger. Kung nasuko ka, ayaw bunali mong anak. Gingin nanti kag sayop ka, sayop, sayop, sayop. Oh, Muro magapinsing. Ang sagun na agod. Which brings us to the second. Use spanking as a last, not the first. Last. Say last. Last resort. Revelation 3.19 As many as I love, I rebuke first and then chasten. Ing ana ba ang ginoo na to? How many times have you heard from this pulpit you have been rebuked, 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 rebuked? Mas may nang masultihan ta rather than diritso din bunal. Every time we commit a wrong, psh, hospital. Psh, I see you. Psh, gikawatang kagkwarta. Gusto ka, na? But the Lord is not like that. He rebukes. He uses the pastor. He uses a spiritual leader. He uses other people. He uses maybe situations. Gamay lang kayo na. Don't wait until a major event happens before mo balit ta sa ginoo. Don't try to cure everything with a spanking. That's a last resort. And by the way, if you are already to the point of spanking, keep your word. Wala na ni. This is it. Because you have deliberately disobeyed, we will have to spank. If you say that, Make good your word. I never negotiated with my father. Never negotiated with my mother. When my father, my mother said, it's spanking time. Go to the room. When you say, go to the room, that's it. Dad, go on. That will be an addition. Tinona. Why? You are training your child to accept responsibility for actions. You know why our world today is an entitled world? Because no one will make, be accountable for their actions. They keep blaming other people. They come to office. They become a, a, a politician. Anything happens, they don't take the blame for it. They blame others. Where does that come from? The home. In school. Masakpan. Sa cheating. They blame others. Train your children to take responsibility for their actions. Kung sayop sila, sayop sila. Ayog dupi. Let them, if you know they are wrong, let them take responsibility. Ako magutugod, ako. Dili ka, oi, siya. Let them take responsibility for it. So that when they are out there, when they are in the community, they will take responsibility, they will be industrious, they will be good citizens and good Christians. Keep your word. If it is wrong and you have already come to the point that they need spanking, keep your word. Even though parents, I understand that I'm a parent. It's hard, but you just have to be firm and loving. That's what my mother said, be firm and loving. Don't make idle threats. Oh no. Ingon sa di mga anak. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Ay binuang diha. Ay sag binuang. Tubag-tubag mong duha. Lima di na pwede mga kaigsunan. Binuangan ka. By the way, your children are not your friends. They are your children. You should make sure that they know. You can be close. You can be, you should be close. No problem. But they are not your friends. Dilimo level, there should be a certain amount of respect. If you lose that respect, you lose your authority, you cannot train up a child in the way that they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. Number three, parents, you need to be united. When, the, for example, the executor of the Sentence is the father. Wana, bunol na. Go to the room. Mingon ng mama. Ayo dear, ayo dear, ayo. 
Hawa di hadai, hawa di ha, hawa di ha. Ayo dir, bunalan di karun. Kamu naik gak awai. Ang bata di itu sigi, pahit nyapit. Agoy pa ita. Naguba, naguba. To aka, to ana di to, you're already doing this. In... Ayo, ayo, ayo. Nya, homa nagbunal, homa nagbunal, nigawas ng anak. Ayo, ayo. Kaya siya berkait babay ini, grabe, grabe. Imugi awa yung bana, ayo, present a united front. When the child goes out, you tell them, so, dong, dai, ay na usba dai ha, na awa, sakit gudi dili, na pwede lagi, magtarong yun, dana na dili. Yung bunalan akong anak, anak sana niya. Sunod, ikaw akong bunalan. Nag-away na noon. Present a united front. Number four, are you getting this? Amen. Practical ni Christianity is practical. Always discipline in love. As many as I love, I rebuke, I chasten. Ephesians six four, ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Discipline in love. Number five, work repentance in a child's heart. Tell the child, you have not only sinned against Papa and Mama, more so you have sinned against God. Let them know that God is the ultimate person that we are accountable to so that in the absence of Papa and Mama, they will know that God is there. God is there. Listen, if a child is not given limitations, then it implies to the child, listen, what you are saying to the child that you have rejected him. Are you listening? If you do not set limits, you want them to use a gadget, maybe a game for a reward, set limits. 30 minutes, one hour the most. Before, ang among television, okay, you can watch TV Friday night. But by 9 o'clock, you have to be back. That we used to live there, that, that door there. By 9 o'clock, you have to be there. Okay, 9 o'clock, lock na na, di kaksod, anak atog di so by 9 o'clock, the show ends at 9. But I have to be there at 9. So I will not miss the ending. I, so I, I, I thought I will not miss, but I, have, I, but I will miss the ending. I do not like to miss the ending. Pero 9 o'clock man. Ngayon ko nga, sige na lang, I will obey so that I can still watch TV. Set limits. Set limits. If you do not conquer your child, they will feel rejected. Someone else will conquer them. There's so many groups out there that will conquer your child. Anong kayo? Kung i-reject niyo yung mga anak, dili niyo mo atiman nun, anay mo atiman, anay, nagbalik, anay, nananay kilay. Nananay itik diha, nananay itik. Lalaki, niya na, 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 itik. Tututu, tututu, rut. Gay kita ba, na? Nang yilo-yilo ba? Oo. Oh. Gay. Dili ninyo, ati mano ninyong anak? Ah. Nindot kayo ni. Okay? Lastly, I still have something here, but I believe we need to end this, this lesson this morning. Number one, train your child. Train creatively, train consistently, and lastly, all this, all this lesson that we are learning this morning is that it consummates with the conversion of your child to Christ. I do not like to see my children in hell. I have always told my children every day, make sure you're saved. Make sure you are saved. Remember who you are. If you claim to be a Christian, remember who you are. Remember who you are. I don't want to be in eternity. I'm enjoying heaven and my child is in hell. My children are in hell. Folks, all this training is so that we can see our children come to Christ and know that there is a God and that God loves us so much. And they will get to know the true Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Help your child have something that will last him all of his life. 
He will have in his heart a principle. He will have the Lord in his heart. Oh, someone asked, how old should a child be before that child is brought to Christ? A child does not have to have a PhD or a college degree to be saved. As soon as possible, when the child gets to know, have an understanding of sin, right and wrong, has the, uh, reached the age of accountability and, and, and kanang, uh, kanang naanay salabutan sa atong lingwahi, the child can come to Christ. So many have come to Christ at an early age. I got saved when I was nine years old. Of course, I had learned about Christ at an early age and I kept receiving Christ. Nga naman, ako mga amigo, dawat ka ba? Dawat sa ko, dawat ta di, dawat, dawat sa di. So, wa may kibawang sa mga gidawat? Parang magkanang kita ba? Akin sinas, nalagi ko ni, oh, dawat, dawat man ta, di ba? Tugtuyok man eh. Oh, 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 sige, dawat, dawat ba? Pero wa ka ba? Nga, imo na na yung turno. Ang pagdawat ni Kristo, dili ni yama, yama, tinod anay ni. Proverbs 22, verse number 6. Is it a proverb, pastor, or is it a promise? Yes and no. Yes, because that does not mean you can override your child's will. It is a Proverbs. You can do everything right, and your child can choose to rebel against God. Now, if you are a parent here today, you have done what you could do to make your child walk in the path that they walk. And then, Nihiwi, don't ever say, nga, sayo pang Bible. Ayaw. Sakto ang Bible. You did your part, you're going to be blessed. But you know, children have a will. A person has a will. They can choose to reject. But the thing is, they know what they have rejected. The problem is, when we do not teach them what is right, they do not know wrong and right. They will just do what they think is right. Give them the right choice so that if they reject what is right, they know what they are rejecting. Isa ka ng atheist, I do not believe in God. The fact that they mention God is already hypocritical. So you recognize there is a God, but you just do not choose to accept Him. There is a God. So church, we have a job to do. But we are guaranteed power from God. If we just obey the word of God, magbantay ta, mga kaigsunan. Magdevelop ta o pamatasan. You know, if it is a secret, what does a secret mean? It means it is a secret. Ang secret, dili na ni mo ibutang sa Facebook. Nakikistorya ka ko sa katao. Nasuko ka ko sa katao. But wa kakibaw mga, there are a thousand others who are watching what you are putting there. Di ba kung naantay ko, an, kita-kita raman sa una? O pa na Facebook ba? Kita-kita raman? Pero karun wa na. Ito na dito, plastada na. Nasa'y mo tubag, nasa'y mo karga, nasa'y mo abiba. Sige day, pites day. Nasa'y problema part. Sige away no part. Ato ng balangon. Instead of making a solution, you have made matters worse. I'm warning you, I'm not against Facebook, although I'm, I'm at the point of being there. But folks, we need to really be more vigilant now more than ever. Instead of just scrolling there, why don't you read your Bible? Why don't you go out and be involved in the ministries? Make use of your time. If you really believe Jesus is coming soon, make use of your time. The way or how that we truly believe that Jesus is coming soon. Or, like many others, you push Bible verses or lessons or devotionals so that people will be blessed. Ganina, coming over. Lalimang ka, mauna ni. Man, man, this is it. Instead of just a simple bike, I saw a biker, biker, just biking, right? Just padong dari, padong, coming over. He was biking on, in his bike, jersey, and uniform. Pero ang usan niya, kamot. Lalimang ka, na? Nag-bike ka niya, Gone are the days of simple biking. 
Gone are the days of simple eating. Kaon ta? Before mo kaon? <laughs> this is the world that we live in now. So that is why I say, let us be vigilant. Takang kay tag sirimunyas ba? Manaog ta sa kyanan, bidyohan pa na to asa tapadong. Kuyaw. Asa ka? Unsa ka? Unsa magyud ka? Blogger ka or tao lang yud ka? Kay kung blogger ka, okay ra na. Pero kung ordinary ra ka, wa wa kay nakuhang piso mga kay sa. Ay na oi. Kapoy kapoy lang ka. Mangga. Kapoy kay na oi. Sag asa ka mo adto? Good morning, kumusta? Oh, nya, oh, kuan ba kaning uh, <laughs> hasula no? Ako, <laughs> ako blogger ka lagi okay rana kay gibayran man ka ana. That is your income. Imo mana. Pero kung wa kay income, ay no lang oy. Post pag ini mo naghiwi-hiwi mo kuan. Pagtuon para manindot imong i-post diha. Mas maay pa mag-post lang kag verses. Copy ka, i-paste nimo diha. Imong i-share ang atong services. O, oh, kana, pwede na. Or, some good things that can encourage people. Kana, hindi ka ba muluto? Nga, mahibaw muluto. Hindi mapaig ang ilang binukal. Di ba? O, di ba, mag-pray ka, mag-pray. Instead of just wasting your pray. Amen? And by the way, when you pray, you know why some people don't pray? Because they say, I can't speak English. God understands Bisaya. Ayog pugsa og English. Kiba mo basic siguro nga nung init ta. Kay naa siguro igampo. Lord, hell our land. <laughs> Ako pa ninyo magbinisaya na lang mo. Tanawa init kayo. Nagin English man mo. Instead of hell our land, na hell na noon. Tarunga og pray. Amen. Tarunga og pray. <laughs> Nindot ang Christian life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this blessed morning that we can be with our church family. Salamat gino that you ha- we have also our visitors with us. Lord, I pray that you will help us as families to really continue to be consistent and to be strengthened by you, never to be discouraged. I know the devil wants to attack and destroy our homes. And Lord, help us to be vigilant. Help us to encourage one another to do what is right. If we have families here today that are discouraged because of their family situation, I pray that we will encourage them not to talk uh, about them or against them, but rather to encourage them to, to do what is right and to pray for them. Lord, that you will keep our families, keep your church, that we will be united in obeying what you want us to do, to preach the gospel to every creature in the different places where you have ordained us and put us in. Well, your heads are bowed and eyes are closed. How many of you here today, you are not saved, you're not born again. You do not know for sure when you die, you will be with God in heaven. Is there anyone here today that you would like to have Christ as your Savior? Maybe you have tried religion and religion is so, so much a burden for you. And antod karon wagi hapong kay siguro. But this morning, gusto kang masiguro. Gusto kang makahibalog yun nga naakay kalawasan because the Bible tells us that you can know that you have eternal life. While your heads are bowed and eyes are closed, just raise your hand. Pastor, please pray for me. I want to be sure about my salvation. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. I want Jesus because Jesus is the only way, the only truth, the only life. And I want to make it right. I want Christ in my life. Will you raise your hand this morning? Pastor, please pray for me. Ayaw ka ulaw palihog. Iisali mong kamot. Ibutang dayon. Tabangan ka namo. Ipray ka namo. Karong bundag. For those of you for baptism, you can right now stand and prepare so that you can be able to, uh, we will not waste our time and you can be able to do so. In the balcony, is there anyone? Pastor, please pray for me. I want to be saved. I want Christ in my life. May anaba karong buntag? Anyone? Yes, God bless you. Anyone else? Before we pray, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? My second and last invitation this morning. Church, can we just come to the altar this morning and pray for our families? Can we pray that God keep our families? If we have done 
something wrong or maybe we have not done things right, just ask God for wisdom, for strength to be able to do and make it right. Don't be discouraged. The piano plays softly. Stand from your seat. Come to the altar right now. Maybe you have a wayward child. Maybe you have a, an unbelieving child today that needs to be saved. Why don't you pray for them? Will you come? Let's pray for our families, folks. Bible Baptist Church will never be a church without families. And that is why the devil wants our families destroyed. Maybe you are a young couple with young children today. Ask God for wisdom. Lord, give me wisdom to be able to train my child in the way that they should go so that when they become old, they will not depart from it. Don't be discouraged. Let's help one another. Let's pray for one another. Shall we? Stand from your seat. Come to the altar right now. God bless you. Yes. Anyone else? We will wait for you. We will wait for you. Do not be ashamed. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord God, that you are the best example of fatherhood, the best example of leadership in the home. I pray especially for the fathers of the home that you will grant them heavenly wisdom and the courage to stand up and lead their homes for thy honor, for thy glory. We pray for the mothers that have labored so much to keep the home to care for the children and also to help lead in the training of the children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. We pray for the husbands and wives to be united in helping their child walk in the way that you have ordained. Help us even as a church that we will encourage one another to help our children do right. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit of God that helps us and guides us into all truth so we will know what is false what is fake and what is true and what is right lord i pray that we will stand for the truth we will stand for the right in the midst of a society that is against the truth in a society that is perverting the truth and twisting what is right i pray that we as a church be a shining beacon through our testimonies and our examples of what a home should be. Be glorified. Bless these that are kneeling before you. We pray for wayward children, unbelieving children that need to come to Christ. Maybe wayward parents and unbelieving parents that need to come to Christ. That Lord, you will send forth messengers to be able, Lord, to tell them the truth. And may we be part of that. We give you praise, honor, and glory. We pray this in Christ's precious name. Amen and amen. And all the people said, Amen and amen. Praise God. We have a baptism today. And be back at 5 p.m. Pastor will be preaching this afternoon.